keep spilling my water. I I don't trust myself. Okay. <laughs> Alright guys, it's Jocelyn. I'm back with another video. And today, as you saw from the title, I'm going to be showing you guys how I edit my videos on iMovie. So, without further ado, let's get into it. For equipment, I have a Canon 77D and I just use a basic kit lens that it comes with. I also have a Rode microphone and for lighting, my boyfriend ordered me lights from Amazon. We'll also link all the products that I have down below if they're still available and yeah. So obviously iMovie is an Apple product so I use my MacBook Pro to edit. You can also edit on your phone but I feel like it's a little bit it would be a little bit more difficult and there wouldn't be as many things you can do on it. If you have a MacBook, I suggest using that. Okay, so now I want to show you guys the different ways I add text into my videos. So one way I like to do that is having like the typewriter text so it looks like I'm typing it on the screen. So in iMovie, there's no really effect to do that. So what I do is I go to Keynote. It should be already downloaded on your MacBook. If not, you can always use Google Slides or something like that. I open a new presentation. The size of your presentation needs to be the same size as YouTube's dimensions. So YouTube's dimensions are 1280 by 720. So whatever you do, make sure those dimensions are the same. So I'm just gonna customize the size to YouTube's dimensions. Then I'm gonna change the background to green or blue. When you import this into iMovie, you can um, add the green screen effect so it will like completely disappear. Then just type whatever you wanna have in your video. I'm just putting hello, I hope you enjoy this video. And you can adjust the text, the size, the font, the color. So make sure wherever you put the text is the for sure place you want it. When you import it in iMovie, you're not able to change the size or crop it to your liking, so make sure that's exactly the place where you want it. And then when you're done, just file export it to a movie and make sure the quality is 1080, so it's the best quality you can get. Then you just save it onto your computer. Then when you're ready to import that into iMovie, you just drag it over the clip that you want it on. Just adjust the clip to however long or short you want it. Then you're going to click the little picture button. It's one of the first buttons on the top of the screen where it says cutaway. You're going to click that and then you're going to scroll down to green screen. Once you click that, it will make the green go away and it'll be completely transparent with just the text on it. Next thing I like to do is just add like random text messages like here, here, here. <laughs> or here. So in iMovie you can't really do that in itself. So what I do is I download the app Fonto. It is completely free and really easy to use so I really suggest downloading the app. So once the app is open, click plain image and then I just usually click the white one. So now you want to customize the size of your picture or your text. So like I said, the dimensions of YouTube are 1280 by 720. So next you're going to change the background to green, so go ahead and do that. Then you're going to press the little import button and press use and save. And now just click on wherever you want to add your text, put in whatever message that you want. Then just mess around with the text, you can add different colors, different fonts, things like that. And then when you're done, just airdrop it to your computer and so it's on there ready to import into iMovie. Once you open to iMovie, it's basically the same process that I showed you guys before. You're just gonna slide it over and import it onto the part of the video that you want the text to be on. Then you're just gonna crop it to however short or however long that you want it. Next, you're gonna press the little picture icon and then, then you're also gonna click green screen. Sometimes it will make the text zoom in. If you don't want that, just click the crop button and press fit. That's how you make little text pop up. So for music, I'll have a list of some of my favorite ones that I like to use. These are all copyright free as I know of, and you can easily download them from YouTube. So I'll show you guys how to do that too. So the first thing you want to do is open YouTube and then open another tab that has a YouTube converter. I will link the one that I use down below as well. So once you have those two open in YouTube, you're going to search up whatever song that you want. 
Once you clicked on it, find the right video, you're gonna copy the link to that video. Then you're gonna use that link and paste it into the YouTube converter. Make sure that you're saving the video as an MP3, not an MP4, um, because MP4 is for video and MP3 is for audio. So make sure you do that. Once you download it, it should automatically save directly into your iTunes. So for basics, um, if you want to know how to do this zoom in type of thing, um, I'll show you guys how to do that. All you have to do is clip the part that you want it on. So wherever you want it to start and wherever you want to end. So make sure that is a separate clip on its own. Once you've done that, you're going to press the crop button and then crop it to whatever size that you want it to and then it'll automatically just zoom in. If you want it to do like a slow zoom, um, again, you're going to press the crop button, but instead of putting fit, you're going to press keyburns, crop it to however big or small that you want it. Okay, so for transitions, I like to add just a plain background and then add the text and then sometimes I'll add like stars on top of it. So on how I do that, all I do is the same type of process um, as adding the text. So all you do is open up Fonto, make sure the dimensions are the same as YouTube, um, choose the color that you want, and then press use and save. Then just add whatever text that you want during your transition, mess around with the fonts, the colors, all that. Then you can import that into iMovie. Again, if you don't want it to make that zoom effect, all you have to do is press the crop button and press fit. So how to get overlays um, onto your transition or in your video, all you do is search it up on YouTube. It's the same type of process as downloading the music. So you can open YouTube, search up stars, glitch overlay, or whatever type of overlay that you want. Then click on the video that you want, copy the link, and paste that into the YouTube converter. Only this time, make sure that it's an MP4. Because if you don't download it as an MP4, it's just going to download the audio, which you don't want the audio, you just want the, the screen itself. So once you've downloaded that, you can import that into your iMovie and put it on whatever clip that you want. Crop it to your liking. You're gonna click the little photo button, press cut away and then green screen, and voila, you have an overlay over your videos. So lastly, I'm going to show you guys how I add filters onto my videos. I'm pretty sure there's another better way to do this, but on iMovie, there's not really much you can do. So you got to work with what you got, okay? So the way I add filters on my videos is through Visco, and you do have to pay for the membership, which I think is $20 a year but it's totally worth it. Once your video is on your phone, once you import that, you can select whatever filter you want, adjust the settings. Sometimes I won't even put a filter, I'll kind of just tweak it with the settings, adjust the highlights and the saturation, maybe the exposure a little bit, and I always make sure the sharpen and clarity are up at least one just to like get a little bit more crisp, so yeah. Also save your presets so all your videos can be cohesive and have the same filter as well. Um, the two filters that I like to use a lot are A6, C6, and yeah, those are really the only two I use. Other than that, I kind of just use the settings itself. Once you're done editing, just export that onto your camera roll. Then you can import that into YouTube and then post your video. So yeah, that's all that I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video and some of the tips were helpful to you. And if they did, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell so you get notified every time I post a video. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.